Hey everybody, I thought I'd pop up a short little video on my equipment choices for Nationals or the Open Championships. Yes, I realize the tournament is almost over, but it's always useful information even if just for the following year because certain kinds of equipment and surface preps are usually in play every year. Also, since we've had months to listen and learn, this will kind of test how much attention I paid and how applicable it was. I'll do another one of these once I get back to recap. We'll talk urethane first because, hashtag lefty, urethane will always be a big part of the conversation on the left side of the lane, on tougher conditions. There's less traffic, so there's not as much friction worn into the lane surface itself, so reaction is generally cleaner and sharper on the left versus the right. There are fewer lefties, uh, so transition is extremely slow, and in that scenario, on heavier volume, flatter patterns, reaction stability and control is of utmost importance. Urethane is early, slow, and controllable, and everything it does to the lane transitions it in the direction most lefties want anyway. Purple Hammer and Black Hammer are the choices there, and I'll throw the Rattler new in there since it's closer to urethane than reactive. Between the purple and the black, there's really no need for a pitch black, and the Rattler is just a better or more effective IQ78, so I'll be, I'll be set there. The black is also going to double as my spare ball, so I'm getting an extra slot in the bag. Now if I'm using urethane, which seems to be in play on doubles and singles, the purple is going to be the play most likely, so I doubt the black sees much if any play on the first ball, but if going straighter and keeping it in front of me is the play at any point, it'll be there. Doubles and singles seems pretty wide open and receptive to whatever, but the strategy is definitely play straighter, keep the ball in front of you, and don't give the pocket away. I don't have any footage yet for the Rattler New, it's a very recent drill. But it's more of a super controllable reactive ball type of idea, or really just bridging that urethane to reactive gap. It might play in doubles and singles if the purple doesn't quite fit, uh, but it might also help in team if my reactive stuff is just too fast. Speaking of the team pattern, it's been very challenging across the board, but especially on the left side. And any success I've seen has come with reactive. Typically, I don't use reactive at nationals at all, but if urethane isn't effective for the good lefties there, it's definitely not going to be in play for me. My reactive arsenal is going to consist of the Evoke, Venom Shock, Summit, Max Bias, and Intense Mindset. The Evoke, Shock, Summit, and Max Bias all looked very good in practicing with them. Uh, we've been practicing on the 2022 doubles and singles pattern, which was wide open on the right but virtually impossible on the left. Uh, the Intense Mindset is more of a just-in-case ball, but it's looked amazing on virtually everything I've thrown it on. It always seems to fit or be in play somehow, even when it definitely shouldn't be, but I couldn't make a decision on any of the other four reactives to eliminate one to get me down to six balls total, so the Intense was more to get it to eight. I can take eight balls into each event, but that's kind of difficult and frustrating with the whole overdone walking out process, so I'm going to go with six. The problem is sorting out which six to take into each event, so what I'm going to do is bowl at least one squad of the Bowler's Journal, which is on the singles and doubles pattern, and we also have a team practice session scheduled, so I'm going to sort out which six will be going into each event, so two of the balls I take may just end up sitting in the hotel room, depending on what happens there, but I do want to have them with me as options, just in case. As far as surface preps go, big disclaimer here, these are all subject to change based on what I see in the BJ and team practice session. I'm looking at a box of 500 for the urethanes and Rattler New. I've got 1,000 on the shock, probably two or 3,000 on the evoke because it's already fairly early and slow to begin with. Lane shine on the summit. Uh, the max bias will probably get two or 3,000 as well and the intense will stay factory polished. The problem with me trying to use reactive stuff at Nationals is usually that if I go with a lot of surface, which is normally what the conditions call for, they end up way too strong, but if I go higher grits or shined, they're too unstable and sensitive. The ball choices themselves, however, is what I'm looking at, because I did well with the Lane Shine promotion in Team a couple years ago, specifically because the shine kept it from being too much strength, and the ball design itself is what provided the control and stability. The Shock, Evoke, Summit, and Max Bias are all naturally very early and smooth reactions, so even with Lane Shine or higher grits, they're still going to be more stable, and this way I'll have several controllable balls with different surface preps, depending on what I need. Then, of course, with the Wild Card Intense Mindset, the usage there will mostly depend on how deep I end up playing in team. If I'm at third arrow or beyond, the earlier slower stuff may not like the bigger angles and I might need to I might need the cleaner, bigger boom from the intense. 
Remember to check out the description for all kinds of stuff, and please use code ROSEDALL10 at checkout at CoolWick to get 10% off your purchases. I do a lot of cool stuff with all your support, so thanks very much for that. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you. And me too this time. I'd very much like to have a good year in Vegas. We'll see you on the flip side.